Hey there YouTube, my name is Scott and I'll be giving you guys a tutorial on how to install a Minecraft server on Windows. In the description of this video there is a download link to the Minecraft server pack which I have created. In this pack there is a batch file and two jars, one for vanilla and one for bucket. After you've downloaded it, open it up and extract the folder to anywhere on your computer. For this video we're going to be extracting it to the desktop. After you have done that, open up the folder and open up the batch file. You want to edit it and not run it yet. At the top here, there are two options, vanilla and bucket. To use either of them, you have to set this to 1 or 2. We're going to keep it as 1 as bucket, at the time of the making of this video, has not released a recommended build for the full version of Minecraft. If you want to allocate more memory to Minecraft server, all you have to do is increase this value here. This value will handle approximately 13 to 15 people as it takes about 80 megabytes of memory per person walking around and building. If you want the server to restart after it is crashed or anything of the sorts, all you have to do is set this value to 1. If you have set this value to 1 and you'd like to close out of the server, you have to do so manually by closing the window with the X button or whatever you have at the top right. So, since we're not going to edit anything here, we're not going to save it, and we're just going to exit out of there. After that, run the .bat file, and the server will start. That's all you really need to do. However, if you need to port forward or you can't connect to the server, please watch my next video, which will show you how to port forward on your router so that anybody externally from your router can connect to your server. We're going to test this right now just to make sure that it is running opening up Minecraft and logging in, and then connecting to the server on your computer by typing in 127.0.0.1. Join server, and it is working. And it seems I've actually screwed up my Minecraft installation, but you know, that's not really important. Alright guys, have a great day, and have fun.